Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And today we're back with the Honda ST70. And we're gonna take it for a ride. Now some of you Eagle Eye viewers may have noticed we may need a back wheel to take it for a ride. And you're right. We took the back wheel off, we have to repair the tube. So that's one thing we have to do. We do need to put a fuel tank on it. We do need to put an exhaust on it, which we have right, it's hard to see right there, which we have right here. Have to put an exhaust on it. And then after that, we should be good to go. We may put the air box in it and then we'll take it for a ride up and down the street. So these are weapons of choice to try to repair all the holes that we have in here. We have tires or uh, tubes ordered, but you ever just want to ride it? And I can go down the street and get this as opposed to waiting two days for the tubes to come in. Okay, we got the tube out. Let's see if we can figure out where the, the leak is. Found it. I think it's going to be in a couple of different areas just because this wheel was so bad. Here's one right here. Is that the only one? All right. Okay, you can see our hole right, right there. It's right in there. Okay, just using a little scotch Bright just to scrub it in really good. There we go, let's wipe it up. Okay, I just marked it. I know it's between these two lines, right in there. So, we're good now. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, let's put a little rubber cement on here. I'm gonna use a liberal, liberal amount because if a little's good, a lot's gotta be great, right? Rub it around, we'll let it dry, then we'll put the patch on. Okay, let's go ahead and peel the backing off of this. And then we're gonna place it right onto where we think our hole is. Okay, now I can press down. Should be repaired. There you go. Just wanna scrub it in just to make sure it's Stuck on there really good. That looks be pretty good. Let's go ahead and put this valve stem back in and put some air in it, see what happens. Okay, let's test it out. We don't hear anything, although I don't like the way my patch looks right here on the edge. We may put a little rubber cement on there and see if we can get that down. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, patch number two. First one failed, not immediately, but it eventually just gave way. So this is patch number two. We'll let it sit for a while and then we'll make sure it doesn't fail. And then we'll put it back together. Okay guys, using a little bead grease from Rabaconda, the folks that have the world's best tire changer, portable tire changer. Check it out if you haven't had a chance. They're a great sponsor of the channel, so it's pretty awesome. Rabaconda, portable tire changer. Just slipping it in, and then now we're gonna go to the other side. One down, one to go. Making sure your holes line up. There we go. Now just zip them down. There we go. Let's do the hub next. Take this guy. The good thing is that these nuts are captured here on this side. This guy just goes all on right there. Line up your holes and then screw in. Let's give it some air. And then let's listen for some leaks, not that one but some other ones. I'm not hearing any. Okay, I've got the back wheel on, we've got the chain on. The only thing we have to do is put the clip on for the master link. This is the easiest way to do it. A pair of pliers, any pliers you have. I'm gonna pry from this post of this master link, of the master link into the back side of the clip and just push them together. Just go just like this. It's done. Take them off, same thing in reverse. It's so simple. If I go this way to take it off behind and then back off, it's off. Now to go back on, just simply squeeze it right there. 
again off, off, and then to go back on, super simple. There we go. When Yoda showed me this, uh, I was 48 years old, 50, yeah, 48 years old, something like that. Blew my mind. I'm like, I was beating these things off with a screwdriver, smacking them from the backside, and then having to chase them around. This is so simple, so easy. I uh, want to apologize if uh, that's like common knowledge, right? Uh, it wasn't my common knowledge. So when I heard it and when I saw it, it blew my mind. So let me know down below, what are some tips and tricks that you guys use that maybe are common knowledge, but maybe not? There you have it, our ST70 is a runner. This thing is fun and surprisingly roomy. It's got a lot of room and we're not finished by all means. We still need this stuff right there. We still need the harness to put on so that we can get it. But other than that, thing is, I, that chrome is blinding me. Not too bad. We still, it still needs lots of love, but it has come a long way. Rebuilt the engine, basically rebuilt the wheels, hubs inside, had to beat those things apart, put them back together. The, uh, what else did we do? We did so much stuff. Seat, carburetor, all of this stuff is new from here forward is new except for the intake loads of fun our honda st70 we got little bits and pieces to do on it but it's basically a runner we can run this sucker to the grocery store it's good so guys i want to thank you for watching yet another episode of motorcycle rewind and do me a favor like tag share and follow us on instagram at motorcycle rewind and go ahead and hit the subscribe button thanks again guys and have a great day Mm-mm.